The subject of this video is whiteboard and the Wacom tablet. Grab your coffee and let's get started. The Wacom tablet comes with the tablet and the pen and some extra pointers. You'll also require a glove. I ordered the Wacom glove, it comes in a pack of three. You'll require the glove. So let's get started with using the tablet. Let's open up whiteboard. And here are some examples of whiteboards that I've created within, uh, within Teams and just using the whiteboard app itself. I found that whiteboard works better on its own. I found it to be too quirky when I've added it to a Teams channel. So here at the bottom, you have a menu, you have drawing, you have drag and drop, you have revert, you have notepads, likes, a chat, text, and you have shapes. Now using the Wacom, it takes a bit of getting used to. So you have your glove on, your pen, and you're dragging and dropping. It can be a bit odd at first. I think if you're working with the tablet daily for a few weeks, um, I think you'll probably uh, get accustomed to it fairly quickly. I'm mainly an iPad user. I've had iPads forever, so I'm accustomed to using a pen and an iPad. Here we're just uh, setting up some notes, adding some text. You can see the pen um, icon. You click on the body of the notepad, that menu appears, and you can um, uh, type and that sort of thing. You can drag and drop. Um, and I'm using the Wacom tablet to do all this right now. I find myself jumping between the Wacom pen at the mouse um, to do things and, and the keyboard. So obviously if we're typing, I'm using the keyboard. Sometimes I'm using the mouse to drag and drop. And here you can see how finicky it can be using the tablet. But again, it is something that, you know, you get accustomed to like using an iPad for the first time. So here you can drag and drop. Here in the upper right, you've got a timer, which is very helpful. I wish they would add that to Teams. I hear it's on their feature request. And you've also got a follow me. So if you're sharing the whiteboard, um, you can have everyone follow you. And if someone else wants to run the meeting, they can also click on uh, follow me. So the, the whiteboard application itself, I can see it being very helpful. Um, you can help focus the conversation. You could build uh, charts, uh, have discussions, work with on diagrams. I think the limitation of this is going to be the uh, meeting chair's ability to use the tools to draw. So which do you use, iPad or Wacom? If you have an iPad, use the iPad, get a pen. It'll be a very short learning curve. If you're an artist and you're going to be drawing and you're going to be running whiteboard meetings, then try the Wacom. It's a very good product, good build quality. It's another uh, tool in your arsenal. Hope you enjoy. Please click like and subscribe. Thanks.